Hello, this is Therese Skelly of HappyInBusiness.com. And Lou, I feel like it's a party. I feel like I've invited my <laughs> favorite peeps with one of my favorite peeps. And um, so I'm really delighted that you all are here today with me. I want to share with you one of, one of the coolest men out there. I've been coaching Lou for a while. We've been colleagues for years. And today Lou's going to talk about how to unleash your video creativity. You know, Lou is... Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna read Lou's bio, but of course I'm gonna give the Tree Skelly version as well. So here's the <laughs> here's the the professional Lou bio. Is Lou Bartone is an online branding specialist who helps entrepreneurs and coaches build breakthrough brands on the internet so they can have more visibility, credibility, and profitability. Lou's clients get more business and make more money because Lou assists them with innovative online branding strategies, including social media marketing and online video coaching. Lou's a former television executive who worked for the E! Entertainment Television and Fox in Los Angeles. He's also an author and ghostwriter of six business books, a certified guerrilla marketing coach, and a book yourself solid certified coach. And you can find him at simplelubartone.com. And the reason I just adore Lou is he's like the real deal. He's he is not one of those pretentious, stuffy marketers that thinks he's better than everybody. Lou is like the most humble, cool, down home, um, fun, fun, fun man. Just such a man with a heart and just amazing, amazing integrity. And I am excited. You know, Lou. Very often when I interview people, I kind of already know what they're going to talk about. I know nothing. Like I, <laughs> I'm probably you know I, I know this is for my people, but I'm like, oh yay, I'm going to learn too. So. So Lou and I are just going to be um, going through content. He's he's got, whew, he's got so much content, and I know some of you are going to take this and just have a pen because there's so much you're going to take in terms of notes, and then some of you are going to say, okay, that was cool and all, but uh, what else you got? And Lou is going to be sharing a an offer he has later that is. Uh, as your coach, Lou, I think it's a little bit low priced personally, but hey, <laughs> we'll have another session on that one later. Um, yeah. But um, so just know that you're in for a treat. Strap your seatbelts on. You're going to get so much information from Lou about how to get yourself out there. Because, which there's, you know, Lou, I always say visibility trumps ability, meaning you could be like the best kept secret, but if you're not visible, visible you're, you're screwed. You know, so you're going to show people how to really, really use video and leverage and get visibility. So just take it away. I'm so thank you. you're here. And thank you so much. And you know that you're one of my favorite peeps, so I'm so happy to be doing this yeah. with you. And it, it's, you know, I've been looking forward to it all day because it's the, the really today it's the one thing that doesn't feel like work. So <laughs> we can just share some info and uh, yeah. have a good time and feel free to jump in ask any questions, tell me if you think I have my head up my butt or whatever, but otherwise I'll just kind of go through <laughs> and, and I'll check with you from time to time to see if, if what I'm doing makes sense. Nice. Sounds okay? Nice. Absolutely. Cool. Well, I love to share like tools and toys and, and I'm like an insomniac, so I stay up late trying to find all this crazy <laughs> stuff. And what I want to share with you today is a, a few ways to deliver your message more visually, which is kind of the first step to doing video. Um, I'm going to show you because everybody always asks what I use to do sketch videos and animation and mm -hmm. cartoons. I'll talk a little bit about how to crank out consistent video content so you don't fall into the, the one and done trap. And uh, yeah, I'll just show a bunch of video creation tools and shortcuts that I've found uh, that make it really easy to do video. And then at the end, like Sui said, I'll tell you where you can learn and do more. Cool. So you already gave me a fine introduction, so I can skip this one. Thank you so much for the very kind introduction. But uh, yeah, I, I, I did come from the world of entertainment, uh, and I always like to remind folks that I'm a marketing guy, not a tech guy. So mm -hmm. I know just enough technical stuff to get myself in trouble. So I'm, you know, maybe a half a step ahead of that on you guys. But um, but you know, my approach to video and and stuff like that really comes from a marketing perspective because that's what I know. So, first thing I want to talk about, and like I said, please feel free to, to chime in anytime, uh, is to yeah, think absolutely. visually. Yeah. Think visually. And I want to talk a little bit about turning your ideas and your content into images. So maybe you 
um, share tips online or maybe you like to put little quotes on Facebook or maybe you post stuff to Pinterest but it's really great to start thinking about that in terms of visuals because Facebook obviously loves images and Pinterest the you know another very hot social marketing site is built for images um, basically photos and images are more fun and a lot more shareable online they tend to get passed along a lot more mm -hmm. and that gives you more visibility and um, when you use photos in your blog that can also give you some SEO help and I like to think of the whole visual thing and the whole graphics thing as the first step towards doing video because if you can post photos on Facebook you are pretty close <laughs> to being able to do video so like no excuses right you can't say but I wouldn't know what camera to use and oh god right. I yep. love I love you you're gonna talk Lou, about like I still know it's my friend Adam Homie who says, you know, I have a face for radio. <laughs> so, so like if you're uncomfortable, because we always think I have to get in front of a video camera and I don't mm -hmm. have my makeup on and, oh, God, I need my hair color today. And you're going to share with people how to not even put themselves in the video, right? Right, yeah. I mean, today we'll focus more on off-camera videos, which oh, are my nice. favorite because, as yeah. you know, but most people probably don't know, I don't particularly like being on camera. I like to be <laughs> fly under the radar and be behind the scenes. So... Mm -hmm. So a lot of what I'm going to share here is about off-camera videos. And, and some of that starts with these graphic tools that I use. Yeah. And these are really easy uh, tools to create photos and graphics. Um, I use them all the time. Most of them are free. And I'll, rather than kind of listing through them, I'll just show you a screenshot of each one and tell you what it is. And the first one is called ReciteThis.com. And I think I actually learned about this from our, our mutual friend, Denise Wakeman. But, mm -hmm. but Recitethis.com lets you take your little quotes or quips or tips or anything like that and turn it into a visual, basically. So um, like on this one, it just says a cool way to create graphics. So whatever tip or quote you may have, you can put that into Recitethis.com and Recite This will turn it into a, a graphic that you can post on mm. Pinterest or, you know, you can see here with one click, you can share it to Facebook or Twitter or download it. Um, so it's just a really easy, easy peasy way to turn quotes into graphics. So next wait, time you want to put the, go ahead. Sorry. I want to back up a little bit because, yep. um, you know, some people might not, I'm not on Pinterest yet. I'm on, I yep. do Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm digging Instagram. And some people, Here's what I'm hearing. You know, I always think of objections. I think of what are yep. people out there thinking? And when I work with people, they're like, oh, God, I spend so much time on Facebook already. Now I have mm -hmm. to put little, now you're telling me I have to put pictures up? What the hell? <laughs> and so I think we need to do a little moment of why it's necessary and how putting a little quote up or putting a picture of your kid up or mm -hmm. how that, because we're in changing times. And if you are not on the visual marketing mm -hmm. game yet, you're way behind. And so just take, are you going to talk, Lou, about why yeah. it's important and why you need to build in time? So this isn't just like, oh, mm -hmm. yay, Lou taught me to build a pretty picture. Exactly. That's no, that's an excellent point because, um, and the truth is I don't spend a whole lot of time. I mean, I'm, I sort of have Facebook open during the day, but I don't spend yeah. a whole lot of time on these social networks. I don't even know the last time I've been to Pinterest. But the nice thing is that if you post to one, you can post to many at the same mm -hmm. time. But the reason mm -hmm. it's important is because not only is you know, Facebook um, in particular being sort of driven by visuals. But, you know, we're a very visual society. It's a lot more impactful to mm -hmm. put some kind of a photo or graphic on um, Facebook or Pinterest. But the more important thing is, and I think what you were getting at, is that, you know, you really have to start to share some of yourself and your personality. Yeah. And whether that's yeah. a quote that you like or a tip that you want to give or a little piece of advice, the more that you can do that and the more that you can do that visually, the, the more powerful your social media presence will become. And, and I noticed it when, you know, I used to do a lot of text and like, oh, I'm going to put my blog post on Facebook. And it's just a whole bunch of text and it's long and boring. And believe it or not, it was my, um, okay, now we're getting really personal here. My ex-fiance from 30 years ago <laughs> called me out on Facebook. <laughs> And she's like, how come I never see pictures of your kids? How come I never see, you know, visual stuff, blah, 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 blah. So, she, so my ex is, you know, 30 years later is still giving me crap. Um, but I started to, you know, put little quotes like pictures of my son playing baseball and, and using tools like this, like recite this to, to yeah, make my yeah. quotes more interesting. And that's when things really started taking off for me. And I really started mm -hmm. getting a lot more 
feedback and interaction. Um, and I'm using yes. Facebook as an example, but yeah, yeah. And and so if you're sitting there, you know, my first thing with people is like, you have to get on Facebook, get over yourself. And now yeah. it's not even just you get on Facebook. Now you got to start getting the the graphics, the pictures, the shares. Um, I mean, you know, I'm I'm on Instagram. I've just sort of started on Instagram, and and I'm I'm reconnecting with people through sharing like. Oh, this is what I had for lunch. This was my salad. Ooh, that's the color of your walls. <laughs> now that sounds really silly, but those are you know those are the things when they need a speaker, they're gonna go. Oh, I just talked to Therese on on Instagram. I I love that salad she had. Now that sounds so silly, but it's yeah. a way of getting in front of people. And we must like if you're not using this, you're still like back trying to find your eight tracks, right? Like mm -hmm. this is like this is not a trend that's going away. And right. so I'm just gonna really encourage you. I like I'm so excited with. You know, Luke, because I'm like, okay, dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making some pictures, and mm -hmm. so I want to really encourage you guys to step in and say, all right, I'm gonna commit some time. So don't just listen to this like, oh, those are fun mm -hmm. things. I want you to make a commitment that you're gonna do something. So, and it okay. really does help keep you top of mind. And again, these are just Absolutely. tools, like you know, and I'll, I'll give you like I can list the tools. Like, okay, Pinwoods is another one, mm -hmm. a great way to put, like I mentioned before, mm. I've got a picture of my son playing baseball. I can put text over that or an overlay. And then mm -hmm. put that on Pinterest or Facebook. Yeah. Um, so, and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to say, "Oh my God, I've got to learn five new tools." You know, pick the one that you like. They yeah. all do essentially yeah. the same thing. Pick the one that you like, and those are the kinds of things that are going to keep you top of mind with prospects. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you That's another example secret. here, like um, share as image. I mean, this is a just a you know a site, and all it does basically is make your quotes look prettier. Mm -hmm. So I do a quote from Winston Churchill or something, and then. Somebody says, oh, my God, that's my favorite quote. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you should hear this one. And, and, and now I've engaged mm -hmm. on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm having a conversation. I'm not just throwing stuff up there. I'm actually, you know, engaging with people and connecting with people. And, and again, that's how you that's stay top secret. of mind. Right. Um, so share as image is another one. Pinstamatic is something that you can use with Pinterest to add a lot of color and interest. Um, and like I said, I'm just going through these quickly because they mm -hmm. all do basically the same thing. Um, they're all really free and easy to use. My favorite is Quozio.com because it's a way to take quotes and just, again, make them visual and more interesting. And one of the ways I used this was I'd have like little tips that I was giving in a webinar, and then I'd have a link to the webinar. So I'm, you know, mm -hmm. essentially I'm promoting my webinar, but I'm doing it with a cool photo picture thingy on Facebook. And I did that for free with Quozio.com. So, That's awesome. you know, there is a method to the madness. You're not just sort of putting stuff up for the sake of putting stuff up. You're doing it to build an audience and build interest in things. So that's that. Um, and then as far as content goes, and I'll go through this fairly quickly because I think your audience is um, pretty up to speed on this. But, you know, um, it all comes down to content. And I talk a lot about branding. And I say that, you know, each piece of content that you put out whether it's a Facebook post or a blog post or a video, is a building block to your overall brand. And the mm -hmm. nice thing about the content that you can create is that you can repurpose it and you can take the same blog post and add a photo to it and use it on Facebook. Or you can take a blog post and turn it into a video. So you can share the same idea or content across multiple platforms. So that's what I like to do. I like to sort of you know, slice and dice my content down to like easily digestible bite-sized content that's really easy to share. So you start with a blog post and then you add a photo and then if you're really ambitious, you create a video and I'll show you a few ways to do that in a moment. And that's sort of like my repurposing. It's like the lazy man's content. For me. <laughs> I got a blog post. I'm going to send that to Facebook. I'm going to put the photo on Pinterest. I'm going to put the slideshow on SlideShare. So mm -hmm. again, I, you know, I'm wow. not going to go through all this other than sort of making the point that um, one idea or one piece of content can be shared in many different places, giving you the sort of illusion of being everywhere. And that's what folks say that's to me all the want. time. Like, yeah, oh my God, right. you, you, I see everywhere. you everywhere. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't even been online this week. I've just, been, <laughs> you know, I posted three things and they sort of spread out and that's it. Well, I think, you know, the old days people would be like, well, I did an article but mm -hmm. that's so passive, and, and it's so yesterday. And I'm not saying that articles aren't good, mm -hmm. but 
these are the things because you know people are more drawn to the graphics they are more that's hot right now they're more mm -hmm. shareable and so so and I know you might be sitting here going that seems really complicated and I know Lou in the program you're going to offer I'm assuming you're going to show us how to do that mm -hmm. you're going to go deeper with this absolutely yeah the much content, deeper yeah. than we can go in this time yeah. but but you know yeah. the idea so, again is the same it's like you know it you don't have to create six pieces of content for yeah. six yeah. social networks you create one piece of content and in some cases, literally with one click, you can send it to a bunch of different places. And that's how and you get that I see you everywhere comment. What's the benefit of that? Like if people see you everywhere, what are, what are, what's the perceived value of mm -hmm. that? It, I think it allows you to sort of play a bigger game and be perceived mm -hmm. better. I mean, I, I know for me, because when I started posting videos and, and getting more visible, I was getting invited to panels and to mm -hmm. summits and mm -hmm. speaking engagements and JVs. I mean, I had people with lists, you know, five times the size of mine calling me up saying, you know, do you want to, I've seen all the stuff on Facebook mm -hmm. that you're doing and blah, blah, blah. Do you want to do such and such? And I'd just be like, you know, I'd have to like put my hand over the phone and say, oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe so-and-so called me and wants to do this. I got invited to the party. I'm one yeah. of the cool kids. Yes. Yeah, so what, what I want you to hear is that the number one job for you is to get visibility. You must be known. You must be positioning yourself as a go-to expert. And using the tools that Lou is showing you today is going to accelerate that. That, like, what do you think it would have taken? Like, back to the old days, if we would have just had to do networking and phone calls mm -hmm. and, you know, send it a few email blasts. Lou, do you think that that big hitter would have ever, ever, ever invited you? No, there's no way they ever would have found me. They would have it's not like, have found um, you. You know, they used to. I think that there was an you know expression, the cream rises to the top, and the sad yes. truth is, there's so much coffee out there that the cream's not going anywhere unless you force <laughs> it. <laughs> So, That's good. So it's yeah, like sucky, I, it's bad coffee too. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, like you know, my son plays baseball. Obviously, I talk about it all the time. But but um, you know, I think there was a day when you say, you know what? If you're good enough, the scouts will find you. The colleges will find you. That's just not true anymore. You have to be visible, and it's the same thing whether you're online or on a baseball mm -hmm. field. It's like you've got to be mm -hmm. seen yeah. at the right places yeah. and make yourself known to folks because they're not just right. going to find you by accident. Yeah, and this is this is why I brought Lou because you know I can you come to me, I can get your free of mindset blocks, get really clear on the strategy, clear on the messaging, but this is a tool that can just take your visibility and just turbocharge it. It really just, and I mean Lou and I have had conversations where it's you know sort of offline, private, where we say, you know, people think we're probably bigger than we are. You know, people are looking like, oh, you've got to be making seven figures. We're like, well, not exactly yet, but you know what I mean. Because of because we work the visibility. I mean, I don't I don't do it nearly like Lou does with all the graphics and visuals. But that's what you want. You want that impression that you are rocking it. Right. You are rocking it. That's the goal because that's when you get invited. That's when you can raise your rates and people are like, oh, of course, I expected that. Yeah. So that's what you want. Okay. So um, you can see my screen right. It says right now it says five simple tools to help you make great mm -hmm. video. Mm-hmm. Great. Okay, because this is sort of the meat of uh, you know what we what we talked about um, on the webinar and when we were promoting it. And I'm going to go through each one of these. And again, don't feel like you have to you know scribble it down because uh, I'll show you a slide a slide or a screen share of each one. Mm -hmm. And they're somewhat interchangeable. But again, these are five tools, free websites. Well, in many cases, free that you can use to make video, and you don't even have to be on camera. So you're totally <laughs> off the hook. No makeup, no hair, no camera, no <laughs> lights. And the one that I use quite often, um, one of my favorites, is called Stupeflix. S-T-U-P-E-F-L-I-X dot com. And this is a free website that's it's a little bit like Animoto, if you're familiar with that, but I like it better. But basically, mm. Stupeflix allows you to create um, photo video montages with photos and music um, really easily, really quickly, totally online. Uh, doesn't matter whether you're on a Mac or a PC. Um, it doesn't matter if you think you're creative or not. It's just mm -hmm. very, very easy tool to be able to create really cool looking photo video montages. So what I use this for is I will oftentimes do these little um, Facebook montages with mm -hmm. friends and you know so if I'm going to a conference maybe I'll find the people who are speaking and I'll take their pictures from Facebook and put them into Stupaflix and I can add a title slide at the beginning and a title slide at the end and then I can add music 
and basically I've created with this series of nothing more than photos from Facebook, I've created a really cool professional looking uh, rock and video. And okay, let, when people let me say find something. Out, I want to say something about your videos. I, like it's quite an honor to be included in Lou's <laughs> videos. Like it really, it's like it's like the ho like I'm like oh god, I get to be with the cool kids. I'm in Lou's video. So what mm -hmm. Lou does, this isn't even a Lou sharing Lou stuff. Like this is a beautiful way that Lou does. Lou says, I just want to give a shout out to some really cool friends I know, or he'll say, Hey, it's it's the June birthdays. So mm -hmm. he actually features other people. And so think about that. Like I'm in the Lou video, and I'm like, you know, hanging out with other rock stars in Lou's video. We're all seeing each other, and Lou comes across as what a cool, generous guy that he's promoting me. So you don't even right. have to promote yourself, but it's a way of again staying top of line, top of mind, and connecting with other people. So that's I love that strategy, Lou, and I don't really see anybody else doing it. You know, yeah, it's interesting to, because it's yeah. it's pretty easy to do, and it's you know, again, you're sort of making your colleagues or clients the star of your video and really highlighting them but at the same time you know when you're on something like Facebook obviously you can tag people who mm -hmm. appear in the video so you're, mm -hmm. you're also yeah. sharing it on their page as well yeah. Yeah. Um, and then again you know just from a technical standpoint the nice thing about Stupaflix is they give you music choices you can see up, up at the top you can yeah. pick different kinds of music to go with your montage and they've got all different styles on the right you know I used one called party here but they have a comics version and a scrapbook version <laughs> so you can really make your video look like you spent hours and hours on it when in truth um, you know I probably spent a half an hour on this and this I see yeah, Teresa is included on the bottom row there the third from the left so you were in this, you were in this video so, okay. yep so that's Stupaflix very easy fun tool to use to create videos another one that's a little bit different just on the tool side is called powtoon.com and you've seen a lot of these videos, I think, where the hand comes in and you know does sketches, and it's kind of oh, like yeah. this stop motion animation. Yeah. And you can do the same thing that the big boys do um, with Powtoon.com, and you can create your own little characters and stories. Um, and it's very easy to use. You just take all the little icons or words on the right hand side and pull them under the screen on the left hand side. Mm. Um, I like to call this my uh, P90X uh, cartoon. <laughs> That's me after the workout. That's yeah, Big right. Boy Lou, yeah. Yeah. So, but again, you know, people used to say like, oh my gosh, I can't do animation or this program's $3,000. This is like, Powtoon is a free website. Well, mm. you, you can start for free. Um, after that, it's like as little as $9 a month, um, mm -hmm. but you can try it for a couple weeks wow. for free. And like they say, this is true. You know, you can create animated videos that would normally cost you three thousand um, wow. dollars for you know nine dollars a month. So, um, very easy way to create animation. Very fun way to uh, make your videos look really professional. So there's my little guy there. He's uh, telling a story, <laughs> and whatever you type in that balloon, that's what your guy will say or your character will say. So wow. you can become an animator um, with this really easy tool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, wow. There's another one that's similar called GoAnimate.com. And um, GoAnimate has all kinds of different characters that you can use to create little stories. Um, again, it's it, you type whatever you want the characters to say. In this case, um, these balloons were saying happy birthday, so I was using it as a birthday <laughs> video. And... Um, you know, you can have them have British accents, a U.S. accent, so it's it's just fun. You can, oh, you can add your own voice to it, and you can see here on the slide where you can you can send it directly to YouTube, or you can download mm -hmm. the video. Uh, again, all all free, easy to use. Um, I'm trying to think if oh yeah, so they've got various characters and scenarios and scenes. So you you know you pick the background and you pick your characters, and you basically. Uh, tell a story with your video. So in this one I had two characters talking about video marketing. So this was, you know, shameless self-promotion, totally self-serving, but at the same time, it's just a fun little cartoon. Mm, and uh, they were talking awesome. about, you know, you should be using video in your marketing. Nice. And I'm using the free version, which apparently doesn't come with arms and legs because these characters are <laughs> missing. You, you got to pay to get the rest of the body yeah, parts. Yeah, you have to pay to get, yeah. So the, but the no neck version is free, so if you want to try that, that's at goanimate.com. 
You know, I just checked um, the, the question box and somebody said that they really appreciate your style of presenting. So thank you very much. And also, guys, if you have any questions, there's there's the little question box. Do feel free to put that in there. We can we can check that out in, in case you're yeah you're wondering you. anything. So if you'll help Fred and do that. Okay. Yep. Um, also, I just want to add, this really doesn't have as much to do with video, but just a resource because people always, always, always ask a question I always get on webinars is, where do you get the music that you use mm -hmm. for your yeah. videos? Yeah. And I, you know, there's plenty of places to get that, but I personally, I use a site called audiojungle.net because they've got tons of really affordable music cuts that you can use in your videos. Mm -hmm. Um, as little as like four dollars to like eighteen dollars. So if I want a video, but I want it to have like this really theatrical, cinematic mm -hmm. feel to it, I can just type "cinematic" and Audio Jungle will spit out you know all these different all these different possibilities for that. So that's just a little nice. extra, mm -hmm. extra bonus. Um, back to the tools, I want to tell you about Video Scribe, which is the tool that I use to create sketch videos where the hand comes on and draws the character. Oh, You've probably seen some of these. Yes, yes. And um, Video Scribe is produced by a company in the UK called Sparkol.com. Let me see if I have it here. It's S-P-A-R-K-O-L.com. And mm -hmm. I think it's about $125, $130 a year. Um, so this one's not necessarily free, but if you're going to be doing a lot of videos, where you want to have that sketch kind of a thing, mm -hmm. uh, you can have the handle come on and literally sketch whatever you put in there, whether it's your logo or one of the icons that they have from their wow. library. You can add the words. You can tell it how long you want it to, to run for. So it, it really produces the whole sketch yeah. video for you. Um, and the really funny thing is that I've seen some video people like actually selling this as a service like oh I'll create a sketch video for you. Ah, and mm. the truth is they're, probably, they're just going to video scribe and doing it in 20 yeah. minutes yeah so another tool that again it levels the playing field it gives you access to the same kind of um, you know really high-end tools that uh, normally would have been without you know well out of our reach so there's a little mm -hmm. hand drawing the character you can pick a right-handed or left-handed. You can choose the kind of pen that they use. They've got all kinds of different, you know, icons and oh. uh, different things that you can add to your video. Um, whatever you add, the hand will come on and draw it. So that's Video Scribe. Um, another sort of bonus site here is just VideoBlocks.com, and this is where you can get footage, video footage. Like if you need stock footage for any reason, if you want to create a mm. video. And I don't know, for some reason you want to put the New York skyline in there or something, you can go here and search and find uh, the footage for a, a pretty affordable fee. So okay. that's just another extra. One more site, our last one here is called commoncraft.com. And this is, again, another style of animation, cutout animation, that you can use uh, to promote your products or tell your story uh, or promote your services. And again, you know, very easy to use, very affordable. Um, you can download various libraries that they have. They have male characters or female characters and different mm -hmm. icons. Um, and this is this one starts at fifty nine dollars per year to access a digital library of eight hundred common craft cutouts for use in your presentations and videos. And again, the reason I'm, I'm sharing all these tools, and I know mm -hmm. Pete will echo this, is that it's a way to tell your story or to promote your product or service that's really going to stand out and really going to make you look unique and help build your brand. So rather than just the same old, same old blog post or the same old article, you can really bring your story to life using some of these tools. So that's why I like sharing mm. uh, tools like this because it's just a way to kind of really up-level your game and um, – you know, uh, get it to a point where you are standing out and being memorable and being noticed because you're doing something cool and creative. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And yes. I just want to challenge, you know, I, I think part of what we, we, we just get our, we just get in like head down, you know, like that commercial mm -hmm. time to make the donuts, time yeah. to make the donuts. And, and I just want to really challenge you 
Um, I think the last time I interviewed Lou, I was like, I'm going to do it, damn it, I'm going to do a video. <laughs> and, and I did one of those, like, hey, greetings to my dear friends, whatever. And it was so fun. It was so, like, cool. You know, so I think, I think sometimes we get in ruts and we, we're not willing to push ourselves. We're not willing to try new things. So, so do a no-risk thing. Either do, like, a shout-out to my friends or just make a commitment today that you're going to pick a tool and do something. I don't want you to just listen to this and go, oh, that was nice. I'll just keep those notes for later. Do something. Do something, okay? Mm -hmm. so I really want to challenge you on that. So. And they're all really easy tools to use. And I think one of the yeah. things that you find is, you know, not to say like, oh, my God, I've got five new tools to use or ten new tools to use. It's, you know, you find the one that, that speaks to you or you find the yeah, one that yeah. you think will be the most fun. Um, right. And for me, it's like, you know, honestly, I, a lot of my videos are just PowerPoint presentations that are narrated. And it's nothing fancy, but it's a nice way to be able to, you know, tell my story in a more visual way mm -hmm. and have it be, you know, just more than, you know, just another blog post. Yeah. Um, some folks may say, oh, my God, you know, they get hooked on, on video scribe and they love doing these sketch videos and, and mm -hmm. suddenly they're creating videos and people are like, oh, my God, did that cost you $5,000? It's like, yeah. no, it took me 20 yeah. minutes and it cost right. me 100 bucks. Right. You know, so. right, right. So I want to hear, tell me some success stories because, you know, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you've really started owning the I'm a marketing dude, I'm a branding dude, and yeah. I would love to hear some you know, because we know what you can do in terms of tech and editing, and but I don't, even, I don't right. want people to know that part about you because that's not what you sell anymore. So I want to hear, <laughs> like, right. how you have helped people. Mm -hmm. Like, do you have a fun story? You, you have that late, you know, the, like the the, the 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 house. What where was, where was our house? The very tropical house. Tell me that. Uh, that. Oh, um, you mean the the Discovery Beach House in Costa Rica? Yes. Yeah, that's such a great oh, story. Oh yeah, that beautiful place. Well, um, I had um, somebody that came to my, one of my webinars. Her name's Evelyn. And it was during the sort of recession, and she's like, I've got this, you know, luxury beach house in Costa Rica, and we're trying to rent it, and we really can't fill it, and it's, you know, she charges like four grand a week, so this is a high-end place on the beach mm -hmm. in Costa Rica. Um, so there was a lot of money at stake, you know, and people were not, um, you know, they were thinking about paying their mortgage, not, not renting a, a beach mm -hmm. house in Costa Rica. <laughs> so she came to me, and she said, what can I do? And it really wasn't a matter of just saying, like, all right, throw a couple of videos on YouTube and do a Facebook, blah, blah, blah. So we kind of mapped out a whole visibility strategy for her and a whole sort of, you know, we've got to get this message out there and we've got to, you know, sort of make folks understand just how beautiful the country is and what a great experience it would be and, and you know, sort of a, a vacation of a lifetime kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we started doing this is and Evelyn I have to should be the first one to admit she when she first called me she's like where is the on button on my new Mac <laughs> so I'm like it's in the back press the on button that okay, would be me that would be find me find the webcam <laughs> see that little dot dot in the top that's a camera so she was not you know the most technical not tech savvy person. yeah but she was able to tell the story, you know, on camera mm. about how beautiful the country is and, you know, ways to get there inexpensively and different tips for saving money when you come there. And, and um, so not that long ago, I got, um, you know, I had been working with her over the course of time sort of for the overall strategy and the planning of how to release the videos and when to release them and what to do. And I got an email from her not too, too long ago that said, um, dear Lou, I just posted my hundredth video on YouTube, um, oh. and the Discovery Network wants to talk to me about tourism ah. videos. I'm like, oh my god! Oh so, my god! Wow. So hundred videos later, she's getting, you know, contacted by Discovery Network and Animal Planet. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. she's really uh, killing it in terms of um, renting her beach house and. You know, the mm. whole strategy just worked nicely. And even in a recession, you know, because I called her, I'm like, I want to come back there. And she's like, I'm sorry, I'm booked for the next two years. You know? so <laughs> I did too good a job, and now too I can't good. get down there. Damn it, so, damn it. Okay, well, so, but that's just so one example of looking at, you know, you don't yeah. just look at the videos like, I'm going to put some videos on YouTube. You, you think about it from a business right. standpoint, like, how can, this, how can this impact my business? Right. Awesome. So I've got um, a couple comments in the question box. Thanks, you guys, for responding. Um, one says... I've found that a lot of lesser-known musicians offer free cuts of their music to use in presentations as long as you give them credit. Uh, nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Always going to give. That's a great credit. way to a great way to save money on 
music for your videos as long as the artist is willing to uh, yeah. you know, have yeah. a little blurb at the end or something. Here's another one, and again, you guys, this is we're, we're at a little break right now, so do feel free to at, type in your question, and I, we're going to get them answered. So I love this question. How about tools for adding your voice to a presentation? Any cool ideas? So you didn't you didn't really mm -hmm. do this yep. voiceover. So what do we right. do with that? Well, I mean, a lot of us use Audio Acrobat, which is a great mm -hmm. way to just record audio in general and get it up on websites. Um, you can also do video with Audio Acrobat, which, or you can host video, which a lot of people don't realize. Mm -hmm. But what I do typically is I just narrate my PowerPoint. Um, okay. I'm on a Mac, so it's a, a tad easier on a Mac, but you can basically record or narrate your PowerPoint, and that turns, I mean, for all intents and purposes, that turns your PowerPoint into a video, because mm -hmm. now it's mm -hmm. a recorded presentation with voice and words and and most of uh, you know a lot of the online marketers nowadays will will do nothing more than a sales page or a sales video that is a narrated PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's really that simple. I mean, you don't have to jump through a lot of hoops. It's it's kind of you know take it down to the simplest level and and uh, narrate your PowerPoint and you've got yourself a video. Right. So you make a PowerPoint in PowerPoint. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm not one of those. I'm not one of you crazy Mac people. So I got to speak to the <laughs> rest of the. I got to speak to the PCs out there and the you know those the, the rest of us. Yep. So for, you know you create a PowerPoint first, and then I use I used um, Instant Teleseminar. That's the one that I use. Also, mm -hmm. you know, and you just record and then boom. So it's very simple. It's just a file. So a couple more questions. So sure. I love this one. Is there an ideal length for a video? How many? Oh, that's minutes? a great question. Will people watch? Thank you, Suzanne. Great question. Yes, Suzanne. Um, usually, um, the the sort of standard answer is uh, three minutes or less. Uh, the vast okay. majority of videos on YouTube are under three minutes. But if you can do it shorter than that, you know, the real answer is as short as you can possibly keep it mm. to still get the message out. So I have videos on YouTube that are literally 45 seconds long, if that long, and they're just like quick tips, you know, hey, it's Lou Borton with another quick tip for you, you know, YouTube just added such and such a feature, blah, 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 you know, quick call to action at the end, visit my website for more information, and that's it, 30, 45 seconds, so the the real answer is as short as you can get away with. But then you see that some, of, some of the big people that are doing like hour-long, you know, sign up right. for my video series, that's another, yep. and tell, explain the difference, explain yeah, why. And that's, yeah, that is a good point, and that's a you know, sort of a different animal, but there's mm -hmm. what I call the the quick hit or the promotional videos typically are three minutes or less. Those mm -hmm. are the, you know, tips or maybe a welcome video on your website or maybe you've got an about video on your about page that you talk a little bit about yourself and your background. Those are the sort of three minutes and under videos. Other videos that I guess I would call educational or informational tend to be a lot longer. So like for this particular webinar that we're doing here live, go to webinar is going to record it, and we're going to essentially end up with a 45-minute video. Um, so it's a whole class, and mm -hmm. it's a standalone video. So those videos can be longer because they are more educational in nature. One thing I want to say: make sure, because it's one thing to give a tip, but and I'm sure you'll agree with this, Lou. Make mm -hmm. sure there's a call to action and/or a, you know. Come back and visit me here. You don't want to just throw video right. out with. Don't don't forget to put your your website or your. So do you have a do you have a tip for how to yeah definitely how to end I mean, it where to send them? Mm -hmm. It depends on the again the the business objective of the video. But if yeah. I'm just doing a quick promotional video on YouTube, YouTube is kind of like a black hole of you know there's <laughs> 80 gazillion videos on YouTube. So you want to be very clear at the end of a video, you know specifically on YouTube of what you want the person to do next and be very, you know, have a clear, direct call to action. And if I have sort of a generic call to action, it's to drive traffic back to my website. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, mm -hmm. visit loubortone.com where you can get a free how to set up your video studio report. Nice. Um, and, you know, yeah. simple as that. So try and yeah. bring the traffic back to your website uh, or have some kind of compelling call to action that's going to give the viewer mm -hmm. what to do yeah. next. It's like, okay, should Don't I go watch that. this, you know, um, other crazy video with the cat playing the piano, or should I go sign up for this? <laughs> you know, you know, you know. There is there there is the pus tube. Like there is actually people popping pimples, and so you really have a lot of competition and boils. I know. Like really, it's really it's terrifying. <laughs> Anything you need to okay. find out better for better or worse, you can find on YouTube. 
Sadly. So your videos do need to stand apart. Okay, one last question, then we're going to get into, because I, you know, I, I referenced earlier, because I'm sure you guys are chomping at the bit, going, oh my god, i got to work with this dude. How? How? <laughs> we're going to tell you in a moment. But there's one last question, and, and do feel free to type in more questions, right? So I, I love, Lou, that you're being so of service, and I love listeners that you guys are absolutely um, jumping in and picking his brain, because he's brilliant. So, okay, somebody says, I... Also, I'd love to use Keynote on my Mac, but this can't be used on SlideShare. Can it be mm -hmm. used in another way? Oh, that's a good question. That's a good Mac question. Um, Keynote, for those who don't know, is sort of the Mac version of PowerPoint. Mm. Um, and I actually prefer it because, and what you may not know about Keynote for this, this um, question is, you can save your Keynote as a PDF or as a PowerPoint mm -hmm. or as a video. So when you go to, um, it's actually called Share on a Mac. So when you go, you finish your keynote presentation, and you go to Share, and then you click Share as PowerPoint or Share as PDF or whatever, and you can save it however you want, and then you can upload it to SlideShare. Okay. And Very for those who don't know, SlideShare.net is like, I call it the YouTube for slideshows. It's, it's sort of a, uh, a site where people upload uh, presentations and PowerPoints and things like yeah. that. Interesting. Wow. Okay. So, I know people are saying, okay, i got to get more of this dude. He's crazy good. So, um, what do you have? Cool. Well, this is my want to learn more. Um, I've already got the little, uh, if you cheated and looked ahead, the little um, link is at the bottom. But basically, <laughs> um, we talked a lot in, in this presentation about off-camera videos and little tools to use. But I have another program that goes into a lot more depth called Video Marketing Boot Camp. And it's a sort of self-paced home study course, so there's no intimidation. There's no, oh my God, I've got to keep up with this and do this week's homework. Mm -hmm. But it is four modules, really, really simple, um, about an hour or so long. And it's very detailed, uh, you know, intimidation-free, step-by-step training so that you can kind of watch and learn at your own pace, go through each module and at the end of those four modules, you're going to basically know how to create just about any kind of video that you want to create. So it's four webinar recordings, four modules, and it also includes uh, some checklists, like a studio checklist, what do I need to, to create my little home video studio. It's got um, script templates, like how to write a welcome oh, nice. video script, how to write an about me video. So it's sort of um, all-in-one, inclusive, lovely little package. Um, and this was selling for two ninety seven, but um, for the Therese peeps, it's one ninety seven for folks on this webinar. The link is at the bottom, louboton.com slash Therese Bootcamp. And the things that you'll get sort of out of this particular course is really, you know, the ability to create great video really quickly and affordably, uh, whether it's on camera or off camera, um, because in this, you know, little webinar, we talked a lot about off-camera, but obviously there are times when you want to do video where you are on camera. Mm -hmm. So that goes into greater detail about that. And it really, again, because I'm coming from this from a marketing standpoint, it shows you how to use video strategically so that you can accomplish whatever business objective you may be after, whether that's growing your list or getting more conversions or just getting more traffic to your website or ultimately you know, attracted clients. That's how I use video. I use video to build my list. I use it to get traffic back to my website. And again, I use video so that I can, you know, get more clients and get to work with cool people. You know, Lou, I just think, well, I don't know if they know what a great copywriter you are. You're, Lou's a brilliant, right? brilliant, brilliant writer. And just to be able to have a script, because I think that's, when I think about what gets people stuck, they don't mm -hmm. know what to say. And right. so if you're giving them, I mean, just that, if you give them nothing else but 200 bucks and you get some video scripts, that yep. even that, just that alone is worth it because because that's why you're not doing videos. Like, you're not doing videos because mm -hmm. you don't know what to say and you're overwhelmed maybe with the technology. And so if Lou can give you a script and a how-to and, the, you know, step one, step two, step three, you're going to do it. Like, so yeah. this is an it's amazing... Fill in the blanks. Yeah, very, oh, man. Make it very easy because that's what, you know, I mean, what I, what I get a charge out, out of is seeing people, you know, go from, you know, not knowing where to turn on the Mac to being able to crank out 100 videos yeah. on YouTube. So that's yeah. the fun part. So that's why I put this 
together and, you know, it tends to be for, um, I mean, you know, whether you're a um, beginner or intermediate, this is mm -hmm. the perfect level for you. I mean, if you're already, you know, doing a Google Hangout every week, you know, maybe not. But if uh, if you really want to know how to get started quickly and easily mm -hmm. without any stress or intimidation, then this is the way to go. Um, but the, the offer on this, the special is through tomorrow at midnight. Oh, okay. And Get the other thing day. I'll do that isn't even on here is that if people do order by tomorrow midnight, um, I'll throw in a um, a free positioning statement so I can talk to you about your marketing, and I'll do I'll do a freebie wow. coaching session because I like Teresa wow. and she helps me a lot and I want to help her. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Guys, for 200 bucks, like this is a crazy no-brainer. And so, I mean, if you look at the cost of visibility, like really the cost of not having visibility is tremendous. The cost mm -hmm. of trying to pay. So let's say you, you're paying a VA um, 25 bucks an hour to put stuff on Facebook. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could pay two hundred dollars to have a few, you know, to have a few tweets and posts and blah 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 that are probably not effective because you probably don't have a strategy and you're not leveraging and you know you might that positioning. Oh my God, though, I can't believe you're throwing that in. That that alone is worth you know hundreds of dollars. So just yeah, to be that's able true. To I get, do. I charge um, two ninety seven an hour for sessions. On yeah, so, yeah. So wow, so though. yeah, but I'm happy to do it for you guys and and you've got a great. Uh, group of folks and you know I just want to give people the ability to be able to yeah, you know, know use video as a marketing tool whenever they want and not be intimidated by it and not think that it's all complicated because you go through something like this and you'll be like oh yeah no problem I can I can yeah, crank out video nice. whenever I want nice nice and that frees you up that frees you up and you know part of I think Lou when we when we hit the the tough economic times and the recession sort of um, changed it, it was a game changer and mm -hmm. what I discovered is that a lot of people washed out a lot of people were like I gotta go back and get a job or I gotta yeah and the ones that stayed in and the ones like you know you and I are that like you know we just dug our feet in and I'm like hell mm -hmm. no we're not going it's because our marketing increased our visibility increased we actually went the opposite instead of spending less money mm -hmm. on visibility we spent more money on visibility we sent you know if you're going to make it today, it, mm -hmm. this is about being more visible. It's the old days of like, well, I, I send out a newsletter once a month. Yeah, mm -hmm. go get a job. <laughs> you're not gonna. Yeah. It's not gonna work. And 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 Lou is showing you cutting edge tools that are going to. You know, I always say, you want to look. You want to do things that people are like going. God, not everybody does that. And so let's say you're a new coach starting out and you're doing the newsletter once a month. If you can pop some really cool sketch videos or like a cool sales page, automate, people are going to be like, oh, they can't be new. How, they, this is not a newbie. What? Like, yeah. It really accelerates your That's credit. right. That reminds me of one of our mutual friends and, and colleagues. Um, you know, I remember um, Nancy Mamaleo called yeah. me. She's like, I got to get, you know, I want to I wanna kick this sales page into gear. And we did a sketch yeah. video on her page, and she told me it tripled the conversions yeah. after adding a video to the sales page. Yeah. So it's nice to be able to know how to do that stuff when you need it. Yeah. Because what's happening now, I will, I will just be really transparent, it's harder to get people to call. It's harder mm -hmm. to get people to say yes, even to the free stuff. Statistically, video is the game changer. Video is the thing that pulls more. Yeah. My, my coach, my coach is like, okay, you're really good on camera. Why the heck are you not on video more? You know, and I'm so I'm, right. I'm taking my own medicine here. You know, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not practicing what I'm preaching here, but I will be because I know I know the power of it. And so, gang, for 200 bucks, this is absolutely this is this is the business changer. So, so. Um, I want to ask if you guys have any other questions. So mm -hmm. uh, many of the people are still listening. Th thanks for guys. Thanks for coming live. Really, really appreciate that. This is fabulous. So, do you have any questions? Okay, somebody has a question. Hold on one okay. second. Um, I already do video. So, mm -hmm. how will this course help me out? Great question. Yeah, that is a good question. And again, you know, if it's like I said, if you're, you know. Uh, in Final Cut Pro and doing all kinds of crazy editing and already doing all that stuff, then this may be too uh, basic for you. But the interesting thing about Video Marketing Bootcamp is it's you know four modules, and I talk about on-camera videos, I talk about off-camera mm -hmm. videos. But the the really the second half of the of the course and the last couple of modules are really about video marketing. So how to get mm -hmm. people 
to yeah. you know how to get more views to your videos, how to optimize your videos on YouTube so that you know you're not making a simple mistake that could cost you thousands of views. So again, it's really more like I said, it comes more from a uh, marketing standpoint. So even though it says video marketing boot camp, I think the emphasis is on marketing. Um, so if you're already doing video but you're not getting the views that you want or you're not you know breaking through as much as you think you should be, uh, it should help you really uh, take that up to the next level. And you know, I don't know if you guys know who Lou has worked with, and and the fact that even if you're already doing a video, the fact that for only two hundred bucks you're going to get a positioning statement with Lou. Like, did you see? He worked for E Entertainment, Fox. He's worked, <laughs> you know, for Ali Brown, Michael Port. I mean, mm -hmm. and some of these people he's done production for, but some I know Michael. I'm sure you've strategized with. Like, I know a yeah, lot of people. Yeah, we did the whole uh, the whole video plan for his um, yeah. private coaching uh, yeah. mastermind thing. So yeah. So, so even if you only buy it to say, well, screw the modules, I just want that strategy <laughs> session. <laughs> I'm not saying, Lou, that your modules are screwable, but my mm -hmm. point is, if you think, it, you know, my point is, just that for this price is amazing. Um, and so that's a great question, though. And so who else has any other questions? We've got time for a couple more. And cool. Let me go back to the, back to the, uh, Post and so, Lou, tell us, tell us another. So you've told it, told it about the, you know, the great, uh, the great rental property that you can never get into now, and that Nancy tripling <laughs> yeah. her, her sales. Um, mm -hmm. What are other stories? Other stories? Well, you, you know, you mentioned Michael, and that was a fun one because you know he was really shifting from, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching to group coaching and, and masterminds. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, he, you know, he had a best-selling book, so he's uh, got a large list and. He was really making a, a conscious shift in his business mm -hmm. to, you know, work with groups rather than one-on-one -on -one because he just didn't have the one-on-one -on -one time. So yeah. we came up with the whole thing for his videos for um, his mastermind, which is called The Alliance. And, um, you know, he knows that I have kind of a wacky sense of humor. So I said, let's do a thing at the beginning of the video where, um, you know, we try and do like the totally over-the-top um, you know, typical internet marketer, this is the greatest thing you've ever seen in the world, you know. <laughs> and so we started like that, and then we had like the big record scratch come through, like, <sighs> and Mike's like, wait a minute, that's not me. So, um, but just the video itself um, was a lot of fun and was very, yeah, yeah. you know, very uh, intentional. And um, he's got, you know, that's not an inexpensive program. I think it's about 10 grand. And, and, uh, he, in the first month or so, got over 50 people to sign up. So oh my God. that's yeah. not too shabby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Michael Port's a big hitter, if you guys don't know Michael Port. He actually was an actor on Sex and the City, too. That's so right. he's, he's, he's been around. But that's an example of, so this is the caliber of people that have entrusted their business in Tulu. And for $200, you get access. And so, um, wowza. Okay, so I'm going to give you one more chance if anybody has any other questions. I'm not seeing any yet. But so, Lou... Um, do you have any final words? Before well, I think the important thing is to, you know, realize that um, as much as we may not, you know, and I don't like being on camera, so I do other kinds of videos a lot, but um, this stuff isn't going away. It's really the direction mm -hmm. that the Internet is going in, and whether it's Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, um, you know, the video is, is going to become such a crucial marketing tool that it's kind of like, you know what, you might as well get on the train now while it's Check before it pulls yeah. out of the station. So yeah, I think right. in order to remain competitive, you know, you kind of owe it to yourself to learn this, if not from us, then from somebody. But uh, do do it. Except it'll not be as good, and it'll be more expensive no, later, and they us, won't really. have you. So. <laughs> <laughs> it should be from us, totally. It should be from you. Okay, so hold on one second. This is another really good question. Great question. I'm a newbie coach and don't even have a website yet. Is it putting the cart before the horse? Great question. Yeah, I know how I answer. Question. What would you answer? You know, I don't think you even need a website if you have a video. <laughs> I know folks who don't have websites um, that just have a presence on YouTube and have absolutely killed it on YouTube. Um, mm. Forget the website. Although, if you are developing a website, the perfect time to do a video is at mm -hmm. the same time yes. as the website, yeah. so it's integrated. And I work with you know a web designer, and we do a lot of work together. And and um, she won't even do a website that doesn't have a welcome video on the home page anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just the way she yeah. designs the, the websites. And so it's a, actually the timing is perfect. So if you are developing the site, it's also a good time to do the video at and, the same time. Yeah, and the newbie coach. And bless you for this. I thank you for being on. Here's the deal. 
If you do not understand your positioning, if you do not understand what makes you unique and brilliant and how you should speak about yourself, you are going to waste at least three years trying to figure it out. Because what happens mm -hmm. for me, Lou, people come to me and I look at their site and say, oh, good God, mm -hmm. really, I'm so sorry you're out in the world wearing this ugly website. And th what I mean by that is they don't know what makes them unique. And that right. positioning, that branding, that is so hard to land. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing that is going to kill your visibility, kill your income if you cannot, if you're like a coach that sounds like everybody else, it's right. going to take years. And Lou's offer goes away tomorrow. So for 200 bucks, definitely, definitely. Yes, because I want to get the session, the session scheduled before I, I'm going to another baseball tournament with my son. <laughs> so the, so um, my problem of having to go away soon becomes your problem of having to order soon. So there we go. Yeah. But, apologies for okay, that, so but really, it's, you know, it's uh, action takers, uh, you know, we uh, like them. Money loves speed, so there we go. So, so they don't have to. They don't have to. So they'll they'll buy. They'll get it. So, how long do they have to use the free session? Like, like, is it a, like a thirty um, oh, day I can do or that over the next three months? Or three so, months. Okay. But, you know, I think if you okay. want to, obviously, um, before you start creating a lot of videos, you may want to have, as you said, your positioning. Make sure that your positioning yeah. solid and that your brand is is pretty solid. Otherwise, you're going to sort of be you know, then you are putting the cart before the horse if you if you start to do nice. videos before you've gotten your brand down. Nice. And if um, they want to contact you, if somebody says, this is awesome, but, um, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure yet, Lou, can, mm -hmm. can they just shoot you an email or contact you? Yeah, absolutely. You, you can uh, email VIP at LouBorton.com. And, you know, maybe there are some people who may say, you know, I'm past this or I'm ready for one-on-one -on -one coaching or I, I'd rather do, you know, I'd rather work with you more uh, closely one-on-one. -on -one. That's totally fine. You, we're going to do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Sweet. Okay. So give them the link one more time. Okay. It's loubortone.com slash Therese Bootcamp. And that will bring you to this page that you see here that says, Make videos that make you money, mm, sweet, sweet, and you'll sweet. see the one that we changed it to 197 on the site. Yeah, wow, what a great price! Thank you so much. I knew I was going to learn. I've got so many notes. I can't wait to get started. Oh, good. Thank you. Um, and I'm going to challenge all of you guys listening to absolutely just number one, pick one thing you're going to do. If that's just get a quote, get it, get it out there. And number two, really, really, really 